Hello and welcome to our new video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can set up your WP Rocket plugin. So here I'm going to show you the two websites you need to observe their loading time. Okay. So here is the first website and the first website is AIUtrotag.in. If you check the website, loading time is very small as it is loaded in uh, at least in maximum three to five seconds. Okay. Now check the second website. In the second website is Aulin.in. So if you see it's taking time, okay, so it is loaded here. It also didn't take that much time, but it take more than the AI auto tag brought in. So here we are going to enable our WP rocket plugin and also what we can do. And also we are going to see one thing that how we can improve our website loading time. So first of all, go to the website WP admin page, go to website admin page. Okay, so here first of all go to your website dashboard and then hover on plugins area then click on add new uh, Okay, so um, Go to add new plugin and then click on upload plugin Now we are going to upload the file here and the file is for WP rocket plugin So if you here see we have a file that is WP rocket dot uh, gif file now click on install now Okay, now the plugin is installed. Click on activate plugin. Okay, so here our plugin is installed too. Okay, so now we are going to set up our WP Rocket plugin. So here is our plugin. Click on settings. Now go a little bit down. Okay, now uh, click on the second option that is cache. So here we are going to enable cache for mobile devices. and then click on and uh, uh, now the second thing is cache lifespan so we are going to put it one day now click on save changes we can also enable this through a longer time like 24 days 30 days as per your choice okay now click on file optimization minify the file uh, css file now click on activate minify css file and click on save changes now the third one is media optimization click on that and now click on enable for video images and enable for iframe videos okay now click on save changes again enable this as well and click on save changes again okay. now click on preload section and here activate the preloading enable link preloading and here is our website url okay and then go down okay so now go to the sec next option that is advanced rule okay we do not require uh, we are not going to make any changes in this file now go to database okay now these are not of our use now click on save changes and then we are going to install the plugin that is imagify okay save all the changes that we made in our previous files so click on save changes here okay now we are going to install a plugin that is imagify that and the plugin is used to oh, short our image size so this plugin is used to compress our image size without image size without quality loss and this is the best plugin i think so for sure you can try this plugin okay so now click on sign up it for free so here you need to write an email address so we are going to use an email click on sign up now they are going to send you a api key and we are going to use that api key okay so you need to get your api key open your gmail and get that so paste your api key and now you are done now click on ok go to settings i'm going to use my images in webp format webp format makes your images lighter than the uh, png and jpg version all other things remain same now we are going to optimize our images so click on save and go to bulk optimizer 
Now click on Imazify all and start the optimization. Now this optimization can uh, can take more than an hour. It depends on your images. It depends on the quantity of images in your website. Okay. Uh, so right now we are done with the, the WP Rocket plugin setup and Imazify setup. So now it will optimize your images and resize them in small size. Like here you can see that uh, our media size media file size is total 45 mb and it will reduce it to 28 mb you can see that it's optimizing our images to almost half size so it's really a very good plugin so i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and by following these steps you can improve your website speed and it Still, if you need further assistance, then you can contact me through comment section and stay tuned for the upcoming videos and thank you for watching this one.